Hi guys, good morning and uh, welcome to the third episode of the Trading Places Financial Education. Um, today we're going to be focusing on Fibonacci retracement and how to couple that into your into your technical analysis. Uh, a lot of people will start off asking, you know, what is Fibonacci retracement? You know, what does it do? What does its ratios come from, etc.? Um, basically, a, a Fibonacci retracement is a popular tool, you know, among us technical traders. Um, and it's actually based on the key numbers identified by a mathematician, uh, a chap called Leonardo Fibonacci, you know, all the way back in the 13th century. And uh, the Fibonacci sequence of numbers is, is not as important as the mathematical relationship expressed as ratios uh, between, the, between the numbers in the series. Uh, in technical analysis, you know, a, a Fib retracement is, is created by two extreme points, you know, usually a, you know, a major peak through to a major trough. Um, and then what would happen is um, the dividing vertical distance by the Fibonacci ratios of 23.6, 38.2, 50, 61.8, and 100. Um, once these levels are identified, that's when you would use use these levels to um, draw to see if they match up with your support and resistance levels, trend lines, etc. And you would blend them all together to give a to give an extra confirmation of entering a trade. Um, but kind of you know, going back to what the actual Fibonacci sequence is, I mean, you can do a Google search about it, but basically it's, it's 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, etc. You know, each term in the sequence is simply the sum of the two pre pre uh, preceding terms. Uh, so effectively it's, it's uh, infinite. Um, but the, it's the... It's the uh, but, but basically, the, the the main kind of characteristic is each number is approximately one point six one eight times greater than the preceding number. That's why the sixty one point eight fib zone is such a such a key area to to look for the market to turn around or or, or reverse or, or whatever. And and the the way um the, the sixty one point eight fib is found is actually by dividing one number in the series by the other number by the number that follows. So 21 divided by 34 equals 0 0.1676. 55 divided by 89, for example, is 0 0.1679. Um, and the 38.2 the, the ratio is found by dividing one number in the series by the number that is found two places to the right. So 55 divided by 144 equals 30, 0 0.3819. That's the kind of history behind the, the like Fibonacci, uh, where it comes from and, and, and you know, where the numbers actually originate from and, and whatnot. You know, the question is, how do you draw it? How do you, how do you actually, how do you actually put it into a chart? Now, it can work on any time frame. It does work better when the market's trending. Um, I, you know, I give you that one, um, because you, you can see it's in a downtrend or whatever. You could say right from the high to the low, left to right, up to the whatever level that would be about seventy-eight level. Uh, yeah, and then it continues down, finds a new low. So this is just very rough. I'll show you properly in a minute. Then again, up to the 61 level, kicks off, and now we're in an uptrend. So then you flip it round, and then you draw from the low to the high. Again, roughly the 61 level and up. So that's how that's how you would basically incorporate it in. But you know how to set it up on your chart. So when you actually open Trading View, I mean I did do a video on this. I think it was the first video how to use Trading View. Your Fibonacci will look completely different. You can put it here double click and you can select all the levels you want so you get Fibonacci extensions what what kind of predict where the market's going to extend on to after it's gone past back past the zero or, or the extension level um, I don't use any of those and these are the areas I use I use the zero is from when you draw to um, and the 100 is for 100 percent retracement which is the 61.8 retracement 78.6 and far and, and obviously 0.5 um, and I, I set mine up as like a tele a, a, a traffic light uh, like system. So the fit, when the market gets to a 50% fib, it's marked as orange, so I can see I'm getting ready to look for potential entries. 61 fib, you know, that's where I want to be trying to look to enter. I want to be trying to get in, in around that zone as long as it matches up with my trend lines and my uh, previous support and resistance. And the red for 78.6, that's kind of my like last last chance saloon. Um, you know, if, if the market gets to that, excuse me, I'd be looking to. Um, you know that would be the last kind of area before I think you know I, I don't I wouldn't want to be in the trade the potential trade is now invalidated um, so if you set it up like how I've done it 
um, you're thinking, right, how do I how do I draw it? So if you're just banging onto a monthly, I always draw vibs using the magnet tool. It's the most easiest and way to, to uh, accurate way to, to do it. So for instance, just, just picking the high. So it basically so um, we're in a trend. So we always draw fibs left to right. Okay, if it's in a downtrend, we draw from the high left to the low right. And then we can see the markets are traced up. It's first tagged this 50 level, fallen back a bit, and next it's tagged the 61 level. You can just see that I've just grabbed this pair out, you know, out of the blue. So that's a perfect 61 Fibonacci retracement. That would have coupled with the descending trend line, you know, and then that kind of activates your short. If we just delete that one and we look for so this high to this low. 61 fib is here the weekly level of support and resistance is here the descending trend line is here so we know this is quite a strong loan a uh, strong level so with 50 fibs you know we were looking to get ready for for, for for action here but we know this weekly level is a strong kind of you know weekly level of support is a very strong level coupled with this descending trend line coupled with it basically being on this 61 fib this is another very important area we can look to short and lo and behold it all marries up and it shorts um and, and that's a very simple way of of uh how to how to get your how to how to how to couple fibonacci retracement levels into trend lines and into support and resistance um if for instance we were in a in an uptrend we would draw a fib from the low to the high so left to right always left to right but this time low to high and then we'll be looking again at the levels what can we spot right 61 level that tied up with this strong level of daily support of resistance you know, all the way along here so with markets come up we can see it's retraced back down it's hit it and we did actually see a bounce off of this level um, and then we've broken this level now you've broken the resistance it's gone back below um, bounced off the 78 level and we're approaching it again now so you know this could theoretically be an, another buying opportunity if you're using this 78 if it breaks that you know you'd be looking to continue to the downside so that's how you would use a fib in an, in an uptrend looking to continue an uptrend so it's always if you remember always left to right so downtrend is low is, is, sorry is high to low find the retracement to carry on to continue the uh, the short in an uptrend it's low to high find the retracement to continue the uptrend and it's very very simple um you don't need to spend ages on it it's you know it's not that hard um you know you can go into a history behind it but i don't think anybody's really bothered about where the numbers come from they're looking how they can how they can add it to their trading you know how they can actually implement it into their their, their trading strategy and how it can actually financially benefit them and that's the way to use it very simple uh you know and it, that's the way to keep keep trading simple and uh you know and effective right i'm going to sign off then guys and hopefully that helps any questions drop a comment or find us on our telegram group or instagram page cheers